Welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to take a trip to the Mediterranean. I'm gonna show you how to make an amazing Greek bake tray with chicken thighs. 10 minutes of prep. That's it, I even timed it. Stay tuned and we're gonna show you how we made this. gonna try something different this time. I wanna show you how easy it is to prep a meal that's gonna be amazing for an entire family. So I'm gonna do this in one shoot. Jamie's gonna put a really cool timer somewhere here or somewhere there. I'm gonna prep all my vegetables and make the dressing for this amazing Greek bake in probably, I'm gonna guess, five to six minutes, but let's see. So I'm gonna start it right away. So I'm gonna take a lemon, and I'm gonna quarter it. If there's any obvious seeds hanging around, pop them out. If you can, into your bake tray. If you don't have a tray like this, a kind of a deeper dish cookie sheet would be perfect. So now we're on to peppers. So with the peppers, I'm gonna cut them quite chunky and quite large, and you'll see. So this is an amazing dish that you could prep actually in advance if you wanted and do all your veg um, a day before, get everything ready. And then when you get home from work one night and you're ready to go, then you just throw everything in your baking tray. So I should say that I do have uh, chicken thighs in the oven right now that are cooking at 375 for 40 minutes. I did a very quick marinade on that, so maybe Jamie will add a minute to the timer. But the marinade's gonna be listed in the description below, as well as this dressing that I'm gonna make and show you here. So, just working through uh, a red pepper here, and dealing with a few seeds, but that's okay. So, any pepper will do, it doesn't really matter. Um, I chose today red, green, and yellow, just because they're nice and bright and colorful and it's gonna give you a real nice contrast in your dish. And again, you can cut your peppers however you like. I just like to do them big and chunky, just because they look really nice. So red pepper done. We're onto a yellow pepper now. So I'm timing this just for the purpose of the video to show you that um, it doesn't take super long to prep an amazing meal, but at the same time, I'm not gonna rush and put myself in a bad spot and cut myself, but, and it's, it's not a rush. You're outside the line, see? Uh. Oh no, oh my God. Yeah. Huh? Huh? <laughs> However, um, again, I'm just trying to prove the point that you can make amazing dishes with a minimal amount of time for prep and really then you just let the oven do the work and throw it in the oven and next thing you know, um, you got a beautiful dish. So we're just working through the yellow pepper here now. Again, large chunks. And after our yellow pepper, I'll move on to our green pepper. And then we've got some beautiful seasonal cherry tomatoes here, multicolor. Uh, which is kind of, again, adds nice contrast. Uh, I do not cut them in half, only because I find, even though the vegetable portion of the bake doesn't go in the oven for a super long time, I definitely find that if you cut them, the tomatoes get very, 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 very mushy very quickly. So we're gonna add those. So when it comes to tomatoes, I like to use cherry tomatoes because they keep their consistency if you don't slice them in half. You can use any kind of tomatoes that you like. I just find if you used a Roma or a hothouse tomato and you cut it into chunks, you put it to the heat and it just falls apart. The other thing I wanted to add as well is olives. Huge part of Greek culture. I hate them. I can't do them. It's one of the only things I don't like. But olives, black olives, would make an amazing addition to this dish. So if you're an olive lover, Point them in, you won't regret it. After the green pepper, I'm gonna do a re uh, Spanish red onion. Again, doesn't have to be a red onion. I like them, I find them uh, a little on the sweet side. And the other thing I like about them is they're colorful. And for now, I'm just throwing everything in and um, we're gonna make a nice dressing for this as well and um, toss everything together. 
Salt, green pepper's done. On to an onion. So onion cut in half, and that way, and then that's it. Okay, so our onion's done. So roughly, I'm at about, well on my timer, at about five minutes and 15 seconds, roughly. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to make, um, oh sorry, I should add, I almost forgot, artichokes. So these are just Costco artichokes uh, that are pickled. So I'm gonna throw in, I don't know, maybe four or five chunks. And again, I'll get that all mixed up in a minute. So there, artichokes, so all our veg are done. Now I'm gonna make our dressing. So, uh, roughly quarter cup olive oil. Get that roughly measured. Okay, I got a quarter cup olive oil. We are going to do a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. That's in. We are gonna do balsamic vinegar. I'm looking at my little cheat sheet here, six tablespoons. Okay, so six. Dried oregano. I buy mine at Bulk Burn. I don't know if you have that where you live, uh, but it's a very affordable way to buy spices. So two tablespoons of dried oregano. And then we're gonna do dried basil. Two tablespoons of that as well. A teaspoon of paprika. This one is a smoked paprika, really, really nice. In, gonna do uh, some garlic, tablespoon. Roughly a teaspoon of lemon juice. There we go. And then salt and pepper, I'll say to taste, depending on how, um, how you like it. So, now, just gonna give that a quick stir. And grab myself a spatula here so I don't lose any of that goodness. And I'm just gonna pour that all over our veg. And then we're gonna, oh. I'm gonna give that a quick mix. So there, your prep is done on your veg tray. Let me check my clock. Uh, quick second, unlock. Eight minutes, 20 seconds, roughly, to prep all your veg to get your tray ready. Once our chicken is done, I'm gonna take the chicken out, put it into our bake, and then the bake is gonna go back into the oven for 12 minutes. You could cook it longer if you like. I really like when the vegetables are still crunchy. The other thing I should add as well, I pre-cook my chicken. Some people may be comfortable just throwing raw chicken in with raw vegetables. I don't like it, this is how I do it. So 40 minute chicken cook, chicken comes out into the bake, bake goes in for 12 more minutes and right at the end I'm gonna add some feta cheese. Just wanna make sure that your chicken has a little bit of your coating on it so that uh, that beautiful sauce that you made and uh, all that balsamic and beautiful spices all end up all over the veg and on the chicken. And back into the oven. We'll set that for 12 minutes. So I'm also gonna prep some feta cheese. Uh, I buy mine in big containers from Costco uh, that come in blocks as you can see here. Uh, I'm gonna cut it into chunks and I add it right at the end basically when I take the uh, bake out of the oven because I find it still maintains its consistency and its texture. If you like, you can put it in uh, right away when it goes into the oven, but I don't like it that way. So I basically just cut it into, we'll say half to three quarter inch chunks, just like that. And then, like I said, when you add it to the dish, it's nice to grab a nice big chunk of feta. I grabbed some fresh basil that we just started growing as it's springtime here in the Great White North. So I'm gonna show you the way that I do um, a quick cut on, on basil, not to really damage it. I just grab it and I grab it into a, like a small bunch, nothing fancy. 
and then I basically just start cutting it and they're not super consistent but you'll see there now we got a nice little pile of fresh basil that we're going to add to our bake when it comes out just pulled the bake out of the oven going to add the finishing touches feta cheese and fresh basil no particular order no particular place just throw it in wherever you think it looks nice we'll add these great big nice chunks of feta and then we're going to add some nice fresh basil which is probably my favorite herb Mediterranean Greek bake for under 20 bucks. I'm gonna ask to be $18 to make this dish. Easily could feed a family of four. Put it on rice over Greek potatoes, however you like it. Maybe add your favorite tzatziki or um, hummus and maybe some naan bread or pita, whatever you like. Beautiful dish, can't wait to hear the feedback and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning into The Average Kitchen. I was thinking about you. Drinking.